Imagine standing face to face with an opponent who's built like an Olympic sprinter, has the raw strength of a heavyweight boxer, and carries the physical intensity of a rodeo professional. This isn't a modern athlete. This is your ancient cousin, the Neanderthal. Recent scientific discoveries have shattered our outdated views, revealing that Neanderthals were far from primitive savages. In fact, they possessed remarkable athletic capabilities that would rival or even surpass today's elite athletes. But just how powerful were Neanderthals, and how would modern humans stack up? Before we dive deeper, please take a moment to subscribe for more fascinating insights into human history and evolution. Contrary to the common misconception of Neanderthals as hunched over and clumsy brutes, recent evidence reveals that they were impressively muscular, possessing robust and powerful physiques. Their bones were notably dense, often twice as thick as those of modern humans, indicating extraordinary physical strength. Muscle attachment points on Neanderthal skeletons suggest powerful arms and legs, well suited for high-intensity physical activities. This formidable musculature was the result of a lifestyle marked by constant physical demands, such as close-range hunting, heavy lifting, building shelters, crafting tools, and butchering large game with primitive implements. Recent genetic studies support these skeletal findings, highlighting how Neanderthal DNA contains a higher frequency of genetic variants associated with strength, power, and explosive speed. Remarkably, these same genetic variants appear today, primarily among elite power and sprint athletes, suggesting Neanderthals had a natural advantage in burst speed activities. The genetic blueprint of Neanderthals demonstrates an evolutionary focus on raw physical power, perfectly adapted for the demanding challenges of their ancient environment. Neanderthals were genetically and anatomically primed for explosive power rather than endurance. Their compact, muscular build made them superior sprinters and powerful athletes compared to the leaner, endurance-adapted modern humans. In contrast, modern humans developed longer limbs and a lighter frame, ideal for sustained long-distance activities, reflecting differing evolutionary pressures. This distinct difference highlights how separate environmental challenges shaped two vastly different athletic profiles. Detailed analyses of Neanderthal bones have revealed remarkable indicators of physical strength. The forearms of many Neanderthal skeletons exhibit bending due to intense muscular strain, likely caused by strenuous activities such as stabbing large animals at close range, lifting heavy carcasses, and frequently performing physically demanding tasks. These traits underscore Neanderthal's superiority in raw physical strength compared to modern human standards, emphasizing their capability to handle high-impact activities regularly. Neanderthals did not hunt from a distance with sophisticated projectile weapons. Instead, they engaged directly with large, dangerous prey using long spears. This high-risk hunting method required immense strength and resilience, resembling the physical demands placed on modern rodeo professionals, resulting in a similarly high rate of bone fractures. This brutal method of hunting provided clear evolutionary pressure toward developing extreme physical prowess. It required not only physical power, but also mental toughness and precise coordination under life-threatening circumstances. Interestingly, Neanderthal remains suggest they possessed significantly elevated testosterone levels compared to modern humans. This hormonal profile contributed to their muscular physiques and aggressive hunting styles, providing a distinct biological advantage during confrontations with large prey. Such hormonal characteristics further amplified their robust physical traits making them even more formidable in survival scenarios. This hormonal edge may have also influenced their social structure, affecting competitiveness and dominance behaviors within their groups. 
male Neanderthals exhibited dramatically larger musculature, particularly noticeable in their powerful right arms, whereas females displayed a more balanced but still robust build. This clear physical differentiation between the sexes indicates specialized roles in their daily survival strategies, reflecting a division of labor and responsibilities tailored to the harsh environments they inhabited. Such differentiation likely enhanced their efficiency and adaptability, crucial to their survival. Contrary to stereotypes of short, stocky Neanderthals, fossil evidence reveals considerable variation in height and mass. Many Neanderthals reached heights comparable to modern humans, with body masses often significantly higher, further supporting their strength-based lifestyle. These physical measurements challenge outdated stereotypes and reveal a more nuanced picture of Neanderthal diversity, suggesting adaptability to various ecological niches and resources. Recent paleoecological evidence challenges the traditional view that Neanderthals evolved primarily to cope with cold climates. Instead, new findings suggest they adapted to wooded environments, which favored short bursts of speed and strength rather than sustained endurance running. The evidence increasingly points toward woodlands as a significant influence on Neanderthal evolution, shaping their physical traits accordingly. This shift in understanding profoundly impacts our interpretation of their daily activities and survival strategies. In woodland environments, rapid acceleration and explosive power were essential for successful ambush hunting. This ecological context explains the muscular, short-limbed build of Neanderthals, aligning their physical traits closely with those of modern sprinters rather than endurance athletes. Such adaptive features were critical for quick, decisive encounters with prey, which required stealth, surprise, and swift physical responses to succeed. Modern humans evolved anatomical features, ideal for endurance running, including longer legs, tendon elasticity, and specialized skull structures that prevent overheating. These traits enabled humans to pursue prey over long distances, effectively leveraging stamina and strategy over sheer strength. This specialization set humans apart from their Neanderthal cousins, providing a unique evolutionary advantage, especially in environments that favored persistence hunting techniques. Furthermore, endurance running allowed early humans to expand into diverse environments, covering large territories and exploiting resources inaccessible to Neanderthals. The ability to sustain physical exertion over hours or days provided humans a significant survival edge. In a hypothetical confrontation, Neanderthals would clearly dominate short-distance events, while modern humans would excel in endurance races. However, Neanderthals' raw power and ferocity would pose significant challenges especially in scenarios requiring rapid strength and aggression. The outcomes would heavily depend on the scenario and the specific physical demands required, as well as strategic and environmental factors influencing the confrontation. The ultimate winner would be determined by context and adaptability. Neanderthals were extraordinary athletes, perfectly adapted for power, strength, and explosive speed. While modern humans evolved differently, specializing in endurance and strategic intelligence, the incredible athletic prowess of Neanderthals provides valuable insights into the diversity of human evolution. Understanding these differences enriches our appreciation of the complexity and variety within human history. If you enjoyed this exploration into the fascinating world of Neanderthal athleticism, please subscribe for more intriguing content and share your thoughts or questions in the comments below.